All right, so here we are on the Wolfenose 256 gigabyte Raspberry Pi 4 image. <clears throat> and this one has a Supreme Team base image on it. And it's actually quite a little bit older, but I wa wanted to go ahead and re-talk about this one because it is one of my top three 256 gigabyte images out there. And I noticed a lot of people buying 256 gigabyte micro SD cards, maybe to build their own Raspberry Pi image, or when, maybe whether to grab this one or a similar one. And 256 is a great size because you can fit majority of systems from Game Boy, NES, SNES, etc. Um, and then still have a little bit of room for your PlayStation, your Naomi, your Thomas Wave, Dreamcast, stuff like that. And that's exactly what you see here on this image. You have everything from Virtual Boy to your portables to your Segas and your Nintendos. But you still have 92 PlayStation games, 23 PSP games. You have some cool ports like Wolfenstein and Doom and Quake, all that fun stuff. Um, and then you have some CD-based games as well, besides PlayStation, like PC Engine CD-ROM, and then we should have Naomi, quite a large Naomi set as well, and you also have your Dreamcast set, 33 games, and your Atomus Wave. So you got the Ataris, the Nintendos, and to boot, you have a really nice arcade set. So as far as pre-built images go, this is definitely a great choice for plug and play retro gaming. And with the holiday season around the corner, I thought this was a great image to showcase and revisit because I would still, in a heartbeat, recommend this image. So let's go ahead and jump into it. If you do see the files something like this, you'll notice that they are RAR files. I like to use a program called 7-Zip. You can easily download it. Here's what it looks like, 7-Zip. And then uh, click on part 00.1, just the first file, not all the files. And then I just like to go ahead and extract it to its own folder. And uh, this actually isn't complete, but um, as long as you downloaded everything, all the different parts, you should have no issues. And it should give you a .img file. When it's all said and done, you should have a .img file like this, 233 gigabytes .img, at which point I then just go ahead and put in an SD card. I go ahead and format it with my SD card. Go ahead and format it and then I use a program called Win32. You select your micro SD slot. You go ahead and click this folder here. Navigate to your .img file that you extracted from those 7-zip files, those RAR files, and go ahead and burn it. Make sure, again, you're using a quality 256 gigabyte SD card. Uh, Samsung Evo Select is a great card. I'll link it in the description. So after first boot, there are a few things you might want to do. For example, one is I like to turn off the background music. So the background music is actually kind of cool on this image, but I don't want to keep it playing because I might get a copyright strike for this uh, for this video. Uh, but you can easily go over to options here, audio tools, and delete your background music. Very easy to do. It does prompt you to set up your controller when you first boot up. And another thing you want to do when you boot up is set up your controls. I'm using an Xbox 360 controller. It will prompt you to do that. Um, and then there's two other fixes you might want to do, and they both have to do with the screensaver. Um, screensaver settings here, video screensaver settings. Turn this on, and then turn this never. It's not a huge, I think the screensavers won't work properly with this, but this is really just about whether you want to see the great game data or not. But um, uh, now when you hit select, it should go into screensavers. So as you see there. And there's a way to press like, I think either A or B, and it'll actually launch the game that you're you're uh, checking out. Now, uh, another thing you might wanna do to customize this image, since we're on the topic of you just booted this up, I did wanna actually show you how to, you know, set this up really quick. It's very simple, some common things. Um, one being, you know, setting it up on your computer with the micro SD card, and then also making sure your HDMI port is plugged into port one, which is the port closest to your power cable to your Raspberry Pi 4. The other thing is if you think that there's too many menu items here, and some people do, you might wanna go over here to game collections and you can disable any of these 32 menu items here. You can turn off the Atari collection, the Capcom collection. These are just collections. What this is is it compiles your games for you in one spot. So it'll get all the Sonic games from Super Nintendo, or I'm sorry, Sega Genesis, you know, Sega 32X, et cetera, and put them all in one place. Um, so you can absolutely turn those off. I'll go ahead and turn those off for this, you know, this little bit of the video, just so you can see what I'm talking about. And uh, it may, if, especially if you just want to see systems, this might make it better for you. Now, 
I'm just showing you all this because, you know, if you just boot it up and play, you might be just rocking and rolling the way you want to, and you don't have to do any of these things. But since I'm revisiting this image, I want to get into maybe some more advanced things or some things that you might think about doing if you were to just get the image for the first time. So now you can see here when we're going through the menu, we have nothing but systems. These are all systems. Cody is a program to watch videos and, and look at pictures and things. Um, but these are all, and Pixel is a desktop. Power just turns off your Pi option menu. But you can see now, and then Steam Link. But other than that, these are all systems. And uh, speaking of systems, it's one of the reasons why I really like this image is because it's just loaded with stuff. It is crazy. Um, I did look through a lot of comments now that this image has been out for a really long time and looked at some of the common problems. And they all were related to unzipping the file, to registering it on a good SD card. Make sure you're buying a good quality SD card. And then also not hooking up their Pi correctly. I've never had a single issue with this image. This is like my third or fourth time writing it to a, a micro SD card. And if you follow the steps correctly, you should have no issues either. So now, all games 13,000, but let's go ahead and look. So PlayStation, a smaller PlayStation set, only 92. But uh, for a 256 gigabyte image, this is where you're going to want to, um, you know, save some space. So... Um, if you want, you can add in an external hard drive, use that USB extension, and run it off that. Um, you should also, for those of you that are just like super cheap and you want to go ahead and run this on a hard drive, you can do that as well. So here's the PSP games while I'm talking. Um, I'm sure it's a similar process. I haven't done it for this image yet. So just a few PSP games. Again, these games are huge. You know, for 256 gigabyte, you want to focus on those retro games. PSP minis. 200. You do have a power script here, but you can also get to that just by hitting start and quit, which is a, a shortcut. Ports. You got a lot of ports here. You got, and you also have access to your Pixel desktop here as well. And you have access to your Steam link as well if you want to stream Steam games. Or you can do it here. Somebody actually asked me in a video, they're like, can I still do Pixel? And that's actually a valid question on the Raspberry Pi 4 because the Raspberry Pi 4 is definitely more of a desktop replacement computer than the Raspberry Pi 3. All right, PC Engine CD-ROM. Again, big games, but some good ones on there. PC Engine 285. Zorik, you got five. Neo Geo Pocket Color, it looks like 40. Looks like a nine, too, though. Uh, Nintendo 786. Neo Geo 141. Nintendo DS, so quite a bit of these, 252. Naomi, 56 games. Wow, that is a big... Naomi collection. I want to turn that off. See how I I um I I went in so so easily. I want to turn quick system select off because otherwise you go left and right between systems. So quite a bit of Naomi games. That's cool. I have to check some of these out. And Naomi is running pretty good. And I've overclocked my Pi um, just a slight bit for this video. So we'll. See how that runs. N64, all of them. Because Nintendo 64, a lot of them are becoming playable now with better emulator support and a faster Pi. MSX2, 100. Uh, we got Mega Drive, 193 for, it looks like the Japanese. Uh, Sega Mega Drive, also known as Genesis. So right now it's on Mega Drive. So if you wanted to say Sega Genesis, we would just run that script. So I am in the US. So I like Genesis. So let's go ahead and visual switch it up all right so we have now successfully changed it to Sega Genesis and um, 778 games Sega Master System 277 Cody so if you have a four this is where you might want a four gigabyte um, Raspberry Pi versus the two you will get way better Cody performance uh, and television 133, Game Boy Color 533, Game Boy Advance 1026, Game Boy 557, Game Gear 259, Game & Watch 52, Family Computer Disk System 128, Family Computer 386, Dreamcast 33, 33. And these are going to run just fine on the Raspberry Pi 4. It runs Dreamcast with ease. No issues. So some good games there. Daphne, you got 9 games. Coleco, 
140. Commodore 64, 64, 69. A Thomas Wave, another cool system. Great graphics. Finally, the Raspberry Pi 4. Can please play them? It's not perfect, but uh, it's getting there. Atari Lynx 83, 7858, 5296, 2600, 630, Arcade 2049. So, you got the Arcade set. CPC 114, Amiga CD 25, Amiga 626, Beats of Rage Open Bore. Some cool games in here. You may need a keyboard to set those up. 3DO 10 games. This is not on a lot of builds. Cool to see that. And then last played, favorites, you can add that. Now, here's some collections. I'm just going to skip over these because these are just games, like certain categories of games to just help organize all your games. Light gun games, I'll have to check this out. Nice. This is good because I have a light gun set up now. Don't worry, video's coming soon. Um, ZX Sinclair 181, Z Machine, you got Zork 68,000, you got 236. Virtual Boy 25, Video Pack 78, Vetrex 25, TI 99, 90 games, TurboGrafx 16, 95 games, quite a bit. Super Graphics, the typical five. Steam Link, so this is another shortcut. You can also get this through ports. Super Nintendo 788, SG 1068, Super Famicom 509. Sega CD 114, that's quite a set there. Sega 32X, 31, Scum BM, 96 games. So quite a bit of Scum BM as well. And then here we are back into options. So in conclusion, Wolvenote did a killer job on this image, the same thing I said when he initially did it. Um, I did notice that for some particular reason, I do have some issues with my capture card when I'm playing on this image, but as far as what I'm actually playing, what I see on my monitor that's not being captured, it's actually very accurate and working really well. As I mentioned earlier in the video, it's definitely one of the best plug and play 256 gigabyte size Raspberry Pi 4 images, even though we have way newer versions of RetroPie and there's some updates to the cores on the emulators and things, you can absolutely update this image. Um, you know, I'm not entirely sure I haven't done it myself. You may run into a few little hiccups, um, you know, but from first boot, it will not work with the brand new Raspberry Pi 400. But I really think it's a little unnecessary. I think just go get yourself a two gigabyte Raspberry Pi 4 and then the 256 gigabyte SD card and then a good controller and you're gonna be rocking and rolling. I really don't see the other things necessary. Um, but if you insist on it, you will have to run through some more hurdles as far as getting this to work on a uh, newer board. Now, two thumbs up. I'm liking it. As you see, really great plug and play solution especially with Black Friday and Cyber Monday, we saw some huge discounts on micro SD cards. And so this is still a killer image to give a try out. Anyways, that's what I think. Let me know y'all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one.